Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to John's Model Baking. Today we got Ghostbusters Ecto 1 issue 32. Now I can only do stages under 1920 today, simply because I'm waiting for parts uh, for the HUD. Uh, one of the hinges uh, broke, the spring came off, so I'm expecting that with issue 33, which hopefully will come this week. But at least I can do the partition wall speakers and finishing the partition wall and put the last of the roof lining into the car. So there's the roof lining. There's uh, parts of the partition. And then we get the rest of the partition. There we go. Stage 120. Uh, it was a bit annoying when I found out the uh, hinge had broken. The spring was just uh, lay there. I had a look and the little hook that it attached to had snapped off. I never even knew when it had happened to be honest. I mean the hood does open and close but obviously putting the car back together again I don't want to take it apart again afterwards uh, because there's a lot of wiring to do in issue 121 or connecting cables up and I don't want to undo all that just to uh, replace the spring so hopefully that will be here sometime this week and then I can get the video up for uh, 20, 121, 122 and then the next uh, issue, issue 33 is all about the gurneys uh, I've already seen uh, World of Wind's uh, video on that, that looks absolutely brilliant uh, I don't think we actually finished the gurney but um, stage 34 I think we'll finish the gurney but uh, it's looking fantastic and I can't wait to get this car together because then I've got the parking lights uh, to show off and the strobe lights I'm just hoping everything works fine but anyway big thumbs up for that i hope <laughs> anyway let's get on with the build okay stage 119 let's get the parts out now we don't need that just yet all oh, the roof lining we do need the qp screws for the two speakers that's the partition wall okay pretty straightforward this one we'll put the um roof line in on the car when we finish the partition wall with the next stage uh, so for this stage all we need to do is to put these speakers into place they are keel shaped so they can only go in one way and we need the qp screws for this And that's the second one. Excellent, there we go. Brilliant. Right, that's uh, that stage finished for now. We'll go on to 120. Okay, there we have issue 120, the rest of the partition wall. So let's get the parts out. KP, VP, and these are the EP screws. So first of all, what we need to do is to put this on there, I believe, like so. Yep, and then screw it in with a lot of EP screws. that part done and what we need to do is to marry these two up again eight screws that fits there just like that you can't go wrong uh, you can look at that those cutouts there and eight screws again on the back all EP screws You know, now we can fit the glass in there that fits neatly like that there's a couple of cutouts here and here but you can't get it wrong with the shape anyway and then we just need to put the cover over the top 
like that. And we need KP screws. There we go. That's the partition wall in place. Black plays have it with the cameras. Right, so I'll put this on the overhead. Well, there you go. That's looking brilliant. So obviously this faces the cargo end, the back end, the rear end of the car, and this is for the front end. But you can see where the seats will fit. I should fit over these, I think. I think that'll snug in nicely there. And then there's some fitting points here. Oh, there's a little one there so really you can't get it the wrong way around or you shouldn't be able to uh, that's a location peg I would have thought well then again it goes down that way doesn't it do, 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 that way yeah so that will fit into the bottom of the car all right no it won't that's the roof <laughs> that's the interior floor yeah got there in the end okay first thing we need to do is to remove this chrome strip one two three screws i know the instructions just says two but i think we'd better be a little bit more cautious than that and uh remove all three because we gotta ease that partition wall in as well as make sure we don't trap any wires so that is off there you can leave it just like that um, now we need to train these wires up here and out of the way basically there's four screws is a shorter screw and we should be able to tear that off that's brilliant let me see we can get these wires out of the way like that put them there and then hopefully we'll get them in the position wall so this is supposed to go Let's open that door. That's where it's supposed to go like that. We we'll need to ensure those cables basically hide them. Now what I am going to do, I'm going to take this other strip off, uh, vacate this position here. Uh, here so as I can drop the partition wall straight down and capture these wires because that'll make it a lot, lot easier than hooking that under and easing it in okay though as you can see I've taken the partition wall apart I've took the window out and I've took this side panel out or this end, uh, end panel for the partition wall out just so as I can train these wires like this I've taped them into place here and then all I need to do is put the window back in and the partition panel back in uh, it was extremely difficult getting these cables to run straight over here without it being without them being snagged I tried putting tape on them to keep them out of the way that didn't work it just the tape just got in the way it's a very tight fit so in the end I've just dismantled the partition and now put it back together again but that should fit nice so i'm going to do a test fit now uh, again to make sure everything is fine then i just need to test those uh, uh, ceiling lights again afterwards
Okay, that's the uh, partition panel back in place. As you can see, everything looks fine. Cables are running up here, along here, and along here. Now all I need to do is put these chrome strips on and that roof line in, in at the back. So bear with me. Okay, all I need to do now is this roof lining from issue 119. Got four screws. And then we just need one RM screw in there. And I think we're done then. Let's see what we're looking at. There we go. It's nicely tightened up. That partition well was a bit of a challenge with that cable in. I am going to test the lights for definite. Uh, it was a tight fit on the cable side, so they look to be fine, the cables, but you never know. Anyway, that's the uh, last bit of the roof lining in place. Excellent stuff. Okay, we'll do a quick light, ceiling light test. There we go. So those wires are not trapped. That's brilliant. Everything else seems to work fine as well. Remember, engine noise. Excellent stuff. Now with that lining in, all I need to do is put an RM screw here and uh, over here show you just need one RM screw in here and then over here just need to dress this cable along here and tip it down and as you can see now we have the fender in place there that's say they want it for now so I'll just leave it like that it will come off uh, it's just a test fit they said so I'll leave it there for now. Oh, well I'm gonna leave that cable because apparently we do it in issue 121 anyway so I, um, I'm not sure what this uh, tape was for unless it was for this wiring here but it's not mentioned anything in the instructions and it's not mentioned anything in the parts listing as well for this tape so never mind at least we're done for now well there we go folks that's uh, stages 119 120 done that partition wall was quite a challenge i was skirted death of uh, severing um, the cables for the uh, ceiling lights but you've seen the test they're working fine that's brilliant um it is a bit awkward take taking it apart again because obviously the mirror is free but you can always uh, pop a little bit of uh, tape on the not the mirror the window um why should you put it all back together and i didn't have to because it does it was a nice little snug little fit so uh it went fine but i fiddled and fiddled with that cable and um i couldn't get it in between the partition uh the wall partition in the grooves you push it in one side and then try and guide it in but it had just come out the other side it was a nightmare that's why i ended up taking the panel off like i did uh, a lot lot easier um but they don't tell you these things do they <laughs> you have to work them out for yourself and uh, the tape uh, nothing in the instruction manual about and i didn't see it and i just assumed it was for the uh, the front end um, but uh, nothing uh, for the partition wall anyway um, if anything i'd have used it for there but i did try and tape the cables in place and slide the partition down uh, but the tape just got in the way then so you know this would have been just the same really but never mind it's all done now uh, that is the easiest way that I can find to do it uh, so you don't snag a cable but anyway that's brilliant um, I can't do the next stage simply because uh, one of the hinges on the hood like I said earlier has snapped and the um, tension spring uh, won't fit in place so I've got to wait for that to come back and I'm glad really because um, 
we do put the car together in the next one even though I've checked the electrics again today it's working fine um, I think I've spent enough time on the uh, Ghostbusters car today <laughs> <laughs> these issues seem simple but uh, they always throw up a little uh, wobbler in there for you anyway I hope you did enjoy that if you did give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll see you hopefully next week with issue 121 putting the car together that's going to be exciting I'm going to put all my electrics on as well uh, and I'll show you my circuit boards that I've got as well they, were, they weren't expensive they were quite cheap uh, and I'll, uh, I'll show you how I've put it together and obviously give you a demonstration and I'm hoping that's too old black because I forget what it's like it's a long time since I actually uh, uh, switched it on and had a look at it it's only uh, like a bi-stable oscillator uh, so it probably won't imitate the actual strobe effects but I've got flashing LEDs on it so it'll be close put it that way anyway thanks for watching see you again bye